Hey guys, good evening. Welcome back to my channel. This is Miss JD for another episode of our Daily Stock Market Insights. In this video, I'm going to talk about the uh, most trending stocks in the Philippine market today. At the same time, cover some of the requests that you guys dropped into my previous video. Okay, so if this is the type of video you want to watch every single day, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always updated okay so let's start with the index so the index ended with uh, a red candlestick today with some 208 million on foreign selling so selling pressure is still on at the moment as you can see right here it has been um what uh since the start of uh, the year the weekly sentiment of the market is more on uh, the decline this is still on a downtrend uh, I'm currently looking at the weekly chart so I have a cleaner view of our uh, chart here so and it is somewhat following this downtrend channel over here whereby if you see the blue line I plotted here that is acting as our resistance and down below here each time this level is hit there is some form of uh, bounce that's happening and if you are to look at it on the horizontal view uh, most likely I am looking at the area of 6904 as our potential ne uh, our next support uh, possibly uh, given that if you look to the left over here back in September there were uh, several weeks in that month whereby each time that level is hit we are experiencing a bounce so overall this entire week for me is still on the bearish side we have this red candlestick here but that is just worth one day of uh, performance so uh, overall still the same view over here this is what i am looking at chances are uh, tomorrow we could be touching this area and then uh, 6905 now the question is could we potentially bounce within the week of course that is still a big possibility and um, a much better scenario is that if we let's say bounce at this level then we ended uh, red I mean green by Friday no by Wednesday because Thursday and Friday that's a holiday um, so we only have three days of uh, market day this week because of its ho holy week so we want to see that end with a green at the same time we want the volume to rise currently there isn't much volume so any green day without volume is most likely not going to be sustained see what happened right here we ended with a green but there isn't much volume see what happened today it was easily negated it could easily come back so 6904 right now is our support Okay, so the first stock I'm covering is SCC. So there is dividend. So for those people who are uh, interested to uh, take advantage of this one peso 50 cents uh, cash dividend, just know that for those who have not entered yet, you're no longer qualified to receive this because X date has taken place. Okay, April 11, X date. So um, for those who entered today, technically you're no longer qualified. But if you entered uh, on the 8th and in the very first minute of the 11th, the system has recognized that you are still in a position for SCC, then you are qualified to get that. So most likely a lot of the traders must have already exited uh, this for if, if their purpose is just to get that dividend. Uh, most likely that is the reason why we had a gap down that happened today because traders already exited uh, chances are they must have entered somewhere here in this area and then uh, just took advantage of this dividend pay okay so overall for those who are interested in really understanding uh, the chart here we are still sitting at a possible support so we are at the ma20 line and we ended slightly higher even though we ended red there's some foreign buying that happened we're also sitting at a support uh, at the MA20 line so 
this actually is a good area to uh, probably re-enter. Okay? But don't expect for dividend because you're no longer qualified. But if you're into um, capital appreciation, buying it low, waiting for it to go up in value and then exit, then this could be a much better entry level. Okay, so 30.60, uh, just in case there will be fluctuations, that's uh, something you can take advantage of. 30.60 is our support area. Next is Annie. Annie, okay, so right off the bat, you can see that we are still on a decline. This is the downtrend channel. This is your downtrend channel. See that? So each time that level is hit, rejection is happening. So very easy. Just uh, plot that and then control C, control V, then right over here plot the uh, the support area right over here so at the moment that is still being respected however uh because i see accumulation right over here so chances are we might be approaching a possible support as well so this is the support i am looking at somewhere around the 484 so chances are we could be stabilizing here as well. And that could be your trigger. So let's say I extend this. So maybe for those people who are really interested, you might consider waiting for a break out of the downtrend channel. But for those people who are into the more aggressive side, uh, maybe you can enter somewhere around 4.87, 4.84, and then just uh, establish or identify your cut loss area or stop loss levels. Um, reminder, cutting your loss will only work if you're able to catch it at the area where you plotted it. And uh, make sure that that level is your uh, acceptable area for a loss. Right? Normally, it ranges from 3 to 6%. It really depends on the amount you will be investing in. Because if it's already a big amount, 3 or 5% is huge. Uh, so let's say you enter at a, you know, uh, an okay or a small amount, then maybe you can be more flexible in your stop-loss levels. But you have to decide for it. We have different profiles here. In fact... All my, my perspectives or all my um, uh, insights are based on my profile being a mid to long term investor and I am more of a position trader. So this for me is a support area and I don't really mind waiting for a much longer period of time if I see the potential of the stock uh, to move even higher. Okay, so uh, read through the, uh, the news disclosure so that you can really have a stronger conviction if you want to engage in this stock then technical analysis will tell you when to get in okay so the next stock that i'll be covering would be dito dito ended red okay and uh, like what i mentioned we are still holding um at the support area which is around the five peso and um, at the moment, the volume is still very low. So what we want to see here is for it not, first of all, not to break the 5 peso area. Because right now, this has already touched the uh, 5 peso level multiple times. If you are to start from here back in November, our RSI was around 15 level. Now we're reaching that area again and the RSI is already at a 42 level, meaning the momentum is starting to pick up. People are already starting to uh, have a buy sentiment here. So if this is going to stabilize at the five, I think that's a good area. For position traders and long-term investors, this is already a very cheap level. If you see the stock really um, prospering or, uh, you know, being profitable a few years from now so just be patient i think that's the main gameplay here for dito 
this will not give you your immediate uh, rewards in the coming weeks or months. I think this is a, a stock really for long term. The next stock is BDO. BDO, uh, I look at it as a sign of weakness. We're starting to um, challenge our MA20 line. Uh, at the moment, this is your uh, resistance area. Look at that. Look to the left. This one as well that acted as a resistance. And right now, we're starting to trigger this MA20 line. So if we have another red day by tomorrow, then uh, that's a really, that's a not so good uh, news because we're sitting at a support and another red would mean a breakdown in the price. And then chances are the next possible stop would already be around 124. Please note that BDO is one of the big players in uh, the index. So earlier, I mentioned that the index, I have a bearish sentiment, right? It could even go back to 6,904. BDO being one of the major players in the index, uh, chances are that could also be experienced. So let's closely monitor this. I suggest don't take action as of yet. If you want to um, buy because you feel that this is cheap, Wait for a little while because I feel that you can still get this at a much cheaper level. The nearest support is around 124.42. Ali is also giving us that red um, bearish sentiment, although we are also sitting at a possible uh, support. Okay, so it's a support, so there are some slight overshoot uh, down below here back in January. But uh, January uh, as well, on the 20th, for several days, we were just touching this area. And then here as well in the past few days. So uh, 34.08 is the support I'm looking at. So if you want to start accumulating, you can just manage the size of your entry. Don't put everything in one transaction. Enter in tranches. Uh, ideally, what we want to see here is for a green candlestick to come out paired with some good volume that way you can easily or you can have a you know a stronger sentiment that chances are we could be reversing already uh, like what happened here this is uh, the nearest example i can think of so here so we ended flat right here for several days and then all of a sudden there's this green right and then there's a slight increase in the volume the next day there was again some form of continuation and then look what happened next continued to move even higher uh, but here it did not go on a straight line there were even days wherein it closed this gap and normally just take note of that if there is a gap it will close that gap sometimes it takes several days sometimes intraday the gap will be closed so that's the the main story there uh, wait for that green candlestick to come out with some good volume. That is your first trigger that could be um, reversing anytime soon. DMC, we're sitting at the nearest resistance right here is this one. There's a dividend. Yeah, dividend. Okay. So for those people who have um, interests in DMC, you should have taken action today. Today is your last day to uh, enter and then be qualified. So tomorrow, if you want to exit, you're still qualified because you entered today. Because X date is the 12th. Okay. So DMC actually is one of the companies that give out uh, good dividend. Okay, here, so we're approaching a possible resistance and it's X date tomorrow. So I am on the conservative side. Chances are it will dip and go back to some key areas, which is around the MA20 line, around 8.94. So for Mond, uh, Mond still on a decline, 31 million on foreign selling, 2.44 decline, 2.44%. Ooh. 
This area is a must watch level. This is where we entered or this is where we started uh, during the IPO days. And then it went back to this level again. So really important that it should not break. Otherwise, uh, the market will determine the next possible support because like all time high, where you, it does not give us any free or uh, 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 historical performance, right? That, that showed us a, the next possible resistance. In the same manner here, we don't have any historical data that will tell us the next possible support because the first uh, support established was back in the IPO days and we are already in that level. So let's find out if that will be broken or this is already a support. So must watch. Uh, same, same drill. Wait for that green candlestick. If this is indeed the support, wait for a green candlestick with some good volume because chances are it will first go sideways because the buyers and the sellers are 50-50 at that point. Uh, we don't know who is going to win. Then uh, once you see that green candlestick and then some good volume, that's our trigger. SCC, already mentioned that. Converge. Converge, okay, I see a nice green candlestick for Converge. 38 million in foreign buying. So yeah, this is already a bounce. Um, actually, anywhere from uh, 28, 30 to 29, 20, anywhere between that is a good area to enter. You were given a good um, opportunity to get this at a cheaper level and it is now starting to recover actually yeah ideally you know this was the area where you could have entered but at least the the market has given us uh, some pullback that's our chance to re-enter if you have not entered somewhere here etosha see this another example a green actually here good volume this was your trigger this is your first um hint and then this is your confirmation day and then it continued to move up so right now yeah one last um for me this is still an okay area to enter at 28.29 Right, so I think that's it for today, guys. I hope I was able to give insightful information that you can use for your decisions tomorrow. Good luck in your trades. Bye-bye.